Spider-Man has always been amazing and spectacular, but it took a mind swap with one of his greatest enemies to make him superior in every way, superior strength, superior intellect, superior skills, and a superior ego. Yeesh. Get ready to learn the full story of how Otto Octavius became the superior Spider-Man on Marvel's Long Story Short. Yeah, right in the tentacles. Dr. Octopus was a super scientist who became a super villain after one of his experiments went horribly wrong. Um, my narrowing that down? That could be a lot of my villains. Don't! You know he's talking about me. When my amazing mechanical limbs fused to my spine, I became the greatest criminal mastermind New York City and I'm enough. Hey, why don't you let the narrator do his job, Doc? Thanks, Spidey. I gotcha. Spider-Man spent years foiling the Doc's evil schemes and fighting him, mostly on subways and bridges. It's where I do my best work. But years of fights took a toll on the Doc's very human body, and he did what any mad scientist approaching death's door would do. Accept the inevitable and make amends with all those he had wronged? Nope. Switch brains with his greatest enemy. Yeah! Dr. Octopus was now in Spider-Man's body, with access to all of his powers. And I shall use them to conquer! But he was also empowered with Spider-Man's conscience. You ain't getting rid of me that easy, Doc. Oh, poo. Being bad doesn't feel fun anymore. And so in that moment, Dr. Octopus vowed to become the hero he could never be in his own life. He would become... The Superior Spider-Man! For with great power, there must also come great responsibility. Now you're stealing my lines, too? For several months, Otto Octavius patrolled the streets of NYC as Spider-Man, and for an only recently reformed supervillain, he did a lot of good. He stopped villains like the Vulture, Too easy! The Sinister Six, There's actually some appeal to this hero thing, and the Spider-Slayer. Perhaps this is my true calling! He even gained some unlikely fans in the process. I don't know what it is, but there's something I like about you now, Webhead! Hm. You all make it sound like he was a better Spider-Man than me! And a better Peter Parker! I spent more time with Aunt May and moved in with my new girlfriend. What's up, Slick? And I went back to school to get my doctorate. You had time for that? It's called multitasking, Peter. Look into it. In a lot of ways, he really was the superior Spider-Man. Come on, narrator. How about a little backup here? Well, he also did some very non-Spider-Man things, like open up a secret lair off the coast of Manhattan and cover the city in an army of robot spiders. I knew it! Well, old evil habits do die hard. But with the Spider-Bots patrolling the entire city, overall, crime did go way down. Ha! Unfortunately, the Green Goblin hacked the Spider-Bots, allowing Goblin-related crime to go way up. Oh. Eventually, Norman Osborn was able to take full control of the Spider-Bots and used them to take over the city. And I stole your girlfriend, Spider-Man! Knowing that only the real Spider-Man could save the day, Dr. Octopus realized... I must give Peter Parker control of his body back, for he is the superior Spider-Man. Oh, I'm back! And now you know the truth behind the superior Spider-Man, thanks to Marvel's Long Story Short. I still like the other guy better.